Hello there, morons. It's Pedo Bear. No, just kidding. It's Ridakun. Ridakuma. Ridakuma. Ridakuma means. <laughs> Can I get a Gesundheit? Can I get a bless you? Hey guys, it's Victor Gimme Flake Man. Um, doing a question, answering your stupid questions video. Now, if you're a new viewer, Jesus, you're, don't be so sensitive. I'm just, it's a, it's an expression. It's just, it's a little thing answering your stupid question, you know, like uh, piano for morons, idiots, whatever. You know, the, the idiot's guide to how to play the piano kind of stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Uh, today's question comes to my old Facebook. And uh, on the older videos, I somehow created a, a screwed up Facebook. And I keep, I guess I should just close it or something. But maybe I can deactivate it. I don't know how that works. Now I'm all, I'm all sniffly, sniffly from sneezing. Um, I, got a, I got an old Facebook and some guy named Chris... We'll call him Chris K, an Aussie. Aussie's always breaking my balls. He emailed me on September 19th on the old account. I got an, the, the account that you've seen in the last year or so under these videos. That's the new Facebook account, okay? So he emailed me, and uh, since I didn't respond, because I almost never checked that account, and I'm just too busy. That's I mean, come on. I'm not your goddamn slave, all right? Sorry, everybody. Everybody who asks questions, I appreciate it. I really do, and I want to answer, and I do answer a lot of your questions, but I can't answer all of them. So, um, so give me a break. Give me a break. Jesus Christ. Such ungrateful SOBs. I have no, no obligation to answer anybody's question, okay? Really. I got a job. I got a life. I got a wife. I got a dog. I got a dog. See? See? Proof. Right, Maggie? Hey, Maggie. Look. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. Go go back to bed. Okay, sorry. Okay. So, sorry for the sniffling. By the way, in Japan, you can sniffle and nobody cares. It's kind of annoying. Uh, one of the most annoying things about Japanese, and there are very few things that are annoying, but one thing that is kind of annoying is the, uh, all the time, oh, even like, even ladies, like literally lit women that you would think were ladies, you know, dames, whatever, whatever you call, what do you call educated, high class women? Anyway. So, let me get to Chris's question. If that's a long two-minute rant of nothing. Uh, Chris says, Dear Victor, I could really use some advice about Japanese dating culture. I'm an Australian guy and I've been chatting with a Japanese girl who is living in Tokyo. We have only known each other a few weeks, but have decided to begin a monogamous relationship online. And I was planning on visiting her in Tokyo in November or December. Now let me stop you right there, Chris. All right, Chris. You're beginning a monogamous relationship online. Okay, fine fine but sorry i'm old school unless you uh unless you've uh tasted the goods unless you test drive the automobile i would say you can't really have you don't really have much to claim to ownership there and you don't expect you shouldn't expect much right so uh let me, let me see when did she start this so he doesn't say when he started the relationship oh, we've only known each other a few weeks so it's a few weeks a few weeks monogamous relationship you know I wouldn't put my stock in that, but obviously you think you you think it's something. So my concern is that she seems to have numerous male friends, some of whom she has met for dinner and coffees, etc. Although she has listed me on her Facebook profile as her boyfriend, and despite the fact that she says these men are only friends, misspelled, spell friends correctly, Jesus. Uh, maybe it's all Aussie spelling or something. I still feel something isn't quite right. There you go. Stop right there. Second stop. I'm sorry to pause you twice. There's an old expression. My friend Jeff, uh, Jeff who died a couple years ago, great influence on my life. Um, like me, kind of a jerk, but also a great guy. Like me. I'm a, I'm a great guy, believe it or not. Cheers. Cheers to me. All right. Cheers to me if you agree. All right. I'm sorry. I'm still, I'm still, that's the, that's the Tokyo Sam influence, you know. He's been here, he was here last week. Um, but here, here's the, here's the thing you should remember. This is golden advice. Everybody knows everything. Everybody knows everything. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Hold on. Please. I'm going to put the smolder on for a second. Look. Everybody knows everything. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Of course you don't because you're a dumbass internet loser has to have everything spelled out to you because you're an idiot. That's why you're asking these questions. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I, I used to be just like you. I, I got older. I got I got more ed education, experience, life experience, you know. This is what that means. If you suspect something, if you suspect your girlfriend is cheating on you, 
she's cheating on you. You knew it. You know it. And after you find out, you're going to say, I knew it because you knew it because it was there. You know, everybody knows. So people lie to themselves all the time. People want, you know, people, you know, I lie to myself all the time. I think I'm a lot better looking than I am. I know I'm not, I know I'm not that looking. I know it. Everybody knows everything, but I lie to myself. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Otherwise you might commit suicide or something. So get back to it seriously. So something's not quite, he says, right? Uh, so irrespective of how long she may have known some of these guys for, uh, irrespective of how long she may have known some of these guys for, I feel if she's meeting any of her male friends for dinner, etc., there is a possibility for romance to blossom. And I feel uncomfortably with that. Yes, you are completely right. There's always a possibility of romance to blossom. So you should just lock her up in a box and never give her that chance to possibly have any opportunity to, for romance to blossom with anyone because anyone who has a penis should not be let near let near this woman that you met on the internet and that you are now in a monogamous relationship on Facebook. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I'm glad we got that over with. That is so ridiculous, Chris. That's so stupid. You know, if you give me her her address, I'm that's that right there. There's an opportunity for romance to blossom. You know? It is. I mean, it's an opportunity. I've got a penis. I've never shown anyone on on this site, at least. But it's there. I mean, it's I, it exists. It's hard to take serious, that seriously from anyone wearing this, right? I got a penis, I swear. So, yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, I would say that has more to do with your small mental penis than anybody else's penis. Why are we talking about penis? Let's get back to this. Okay, here we go. When I am romantically interested in a girl, I'm not interested in meeting others. Well, that's you, isn't it? Listen, I'm married and I meet other women sometimes. Not romantically, of course, but um, I spend time with Tomoko all the time. There's an opportunity for romance to blossom there in the classroom. It's so romantic there with the with you cutting in the other room, typing away, and the other students in the, in the Spanish students in the waiting room, the other students in the waiting room, in the other classrooms. <laughs> There's always an opportunity, man. Look, just because you um, have, what is it called? You are incapable of multitasking. Look, just because, look, this is what it is. It's about you, you have a, you can't control your dick. Okay. And you are imposing your, your idea of, oh, any, and if I'm with one woman and if I'm with another woman, then I might try to use my penis on her um, because I have one. That's not the way everybody works. Okay. Other people are a little more civilized. Now, they're not, not everyone's Australian, dude. What do they say? How do you say dude in Australian? Dude, dude. Do they say dude in Australian? Mate? They say mate, I guess. I don't know. Well, who cares? Okay. It's, your population is not that uh, important. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Get pissed off if you're Australian. I don't care. Let me say. And you know, he spelled friends three times wrong three times. It's not a typo. Okay. Learn to spell friends correctly. So, uh, <laughs> I'm having fun with you, Chris. When I'm romantically interested in a girl, I'm not interested in meeting others. If I wanted more friends, I'd call up a mate to have a catch-up or a beer, etc. Yes, because then you could sword fight with your mates, right? Although I'm not quite experienced with Chinese women, Japanese women are completely new to me. Okay, okay, he goes, although I'm quite experienced with Chinese women, Japanese women are completely new to me. I've heard that infidelity is much more frequent in Japan than it is in the West, and also that Japanese tend to, to not not to communicate with their feelings. You know, every other day I get a mail saying, I heard Japanese women are more um, loyal or less um, slutty or whatever. Or, or, or what's, what's the word that he used? Actually, he used the word that I... Inf yeah, inf infidelity. Um, yeah, are more prone to infidelity. I, you hear Westerners are... Who cheats on their husbands more? That's the question. I don't know. Um, everybody has different stories until they do. Until a scientific test comes out. Maybe there's one out there. If anyone does have one, please link it. Now you can link in the comments to so do that. Let's see. Um, blah, let's get back to this. It's so, it's, it's, Facebook has such tiny typing. I lose my place easily because I'm old. Okay. I've heard that uh, infidelity is much more frequent in Japan than it is in the West. And also that Japanese tend not to communicate their feelings. Um, you know, here's the thing. If you're in a, in a relationship where you love someone, I don't care what country you're from. It, the tendency is to want them to guess what the hell you're thinking. And unfortunately, most people can't do that because most people do not have superpowers and are not mutants, right? Uh, so we can't. But yeah, if you love someone, you want her to know, hey, 
I know how you feel. You want her to kind of figure it out without you telling her. Um, but unfortunately, that's not the way it is. So regarding communicating feelings, in Japan, we have an expression uh, that a perfect rela- a good relationship is, is like air, meaning you don't really see it. It's just communication is, you know, there. And there's a kind of mental understanding between two people. So it may be that. But yeah, generally speaking, they, I, I will say they communicate less. Which is kind of a a, a, a blessing because you know you know in the West you know girls got to talk about all their feelings all the time. Oh, gonna talk about your feelings now. Let's have a long conversation about your feelings. You know. So that's one reason Japanese girls are a little bit more um, appealing. But you know, not not necessarily. That doesn't. Uh, it depends on the case and it depends on the person. And it, it's definitely not um, not not the only reason to be with someone because they don't talk about their feelings a lot. It can actually be quite a pain in the ass sometimes. Uh, getting someone to talk about their feelings in Japan is is, a, is definitely necessary. And I've had that conversation with my wife. Um, so we communicate much more now. But in the beginning, it was a little bit tough, yeah. Um, I've tried communicating with her. Let me see. Okay, I've tried communicating with her about me being uncomfortable with the situation, but she insists it's all perfectly innocent. Well, then you got to trust her. And you really don't have a choice because she's on the goddamn internet. So there you go. Regardless of what her intentions with these guys may be, the bottom line for me is that I think she's exposing herself to potential romantic situations. Yes, she is. Too fucking bad for you. Unless you want to put it, you know, I, I would, if I were her, I would I'd fucking run away from you, man. You know, if that's the way you're going to be, <laughs> screw it. I, you know, I, I'm sorry, but um, yeah, I think you're, you're, I don't, I don't like you from this email. <laughs> I would I wouldn't want my sister dating you, man. I don't want her to be I don't want to be possessive of her, but I am. That's not what he wrote. He wrote, I don't want to be possessive possessive of her, but I don't feel comfortable that she has so many male friends. Well then she's not the woman for you, man. I'm sure you're gonna find a woman who has very few male friends and who wants to be your little uh, China doll. I'm sorry, but I, I'm, I'm thinking, I know China dolls not really doesn't, it isn't appropriate in this case, but you know what I'm saying. It's an expression. Uh, you want to lock her away just like they did to Chinese princesses and maybe, maybe give her those special shoes that make her feet, you know, incapable of growing so she can't run away from you. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. When I, whenever I've dated a Chinese woman in the past, I'm certain that I was the only guy in, in their life because they're smarter than you. Than Japanese girls, as in they're, most, they're more conniving. I'm sure there were other guys in their lives, but they hid it from you, probably. Or they're, you know, I'm sure they're, women, women all around the world are all basically the same, okay? Which is not a, not a criticism, not a, not a criticism. It's just basically, um, if, unless, unless they fall in love with you and they decide you're going to be the one, they've always got their eyes and their radar open on the skyline looking for something better just in case you're, you're going to be a flake and uh, flake out on them, right? So that's what I that's that's my advice there. So Victor, can I please ask what's the deal with dating and monogamy in Japan, and how how do opposite sex friends fit in everything? Um, okay, thanks in advance, smiley face. And then here's the funny part. So I didn't answer him, right? So one month later, he writes, "Thanks for the help." Not. <laughs> well, and then I emailed him three four days ago, and no response. So screw you. There, there you go. For not answering my polite, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't answer you. But here's your goddamn video. Um, I hope you don't get the girl. I, I think you're kind of a possessive chump. Um, and sorry, but that's that's honesty. And I know that's that's what my more on army values because it sure ain't it sure ain't the, this ain't the money maker. The money maker is in here, and that's what you got to know. If you trust her, you trust her. Basically, I don't really um, if a girl that you've never met and have never had real interaction with in the real world because. Interacting with a woman is not just one-on-one over Skype. It's also interacting her, with her uh, in the context of her families, of her friends, of life. Okay, I uh, I was engaged to a girl in Argentina, fell in love, had a great uh, relationship, brought her back to the states, and I was on vacation. Like I was on vacation for ten well, vacation. I was hiking for ten months. Okay, and on this hike, I met her, and I kept running into her in different cities. And she was also traveling around, so it was like, oh, it was, it was serendipity. We're gonna be together, right? So. We fell in love. We were so in love. Brought her back to the States, to the real world. We couldn't survive in the real world. Our love only existed uh, in, with me as a traveler, as, a, as, a, as an exotic traveler in her city or whatever. 
didn't work. So uh, we're still friends. I still I'm friends with her on Facebook. Yeah, that's friends. <laughs> She's a great girl. And it didn't work. The real life, you know. Well, you know, I, I'm starting to become redundant, and I gotta go, go see, the, see, see the wife, because the wife is walking from. My wife is walking right now from the train station to the liquor store where we often meet and talk with the old lady who owns the liquor store. And oh my God, if I don't hurry, there's a real possibility that she might meet someone and be and get romantically involved, and I'm gonna lose her. So I gotta go. See, you. thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Rate, give me a thumbs up, and tell me what you think about my opi my opinion. Was I too harsh? Was I a son of a bitch? Yes, I was. I was, of course. But wasn't I real? Wasn't I real? Don't you agree? Don't you agree? Let me know. Break.